Hi guys, so I'm back with the last part of what I've spotted to be cool from the 23 minute long video released by IGN 3 days ago. And in this one, we'll be taking a look at all the weapons and enemies that we got to see from this video. So let's break it down. So for this part, we got to see tons of weapons and also meet a good chunk of enemies. But for the weapons, I got some cool footage of them, except for this one. So let's go into the next one. So for starter, we have this bad boy and I call it the Hellwalker of Arrows. I don't know what it's called yet. I'm pretty sure that's a legendary like most of the weapons that we're gonna see today and it seems to be pretty efficient for huge targets or groups of enemies but for moving targets yeah not so great so let's discover the next one so here we have a look at this jacob assault rifle and this is a nasty one. Oh, sorry should i call it the black powder assault rifle that shreds everything because that's what it is and to be honest i find it to be a bit boring on the gimmick of the gun let's move on to the next one and here we take another look at the black powder pistol who reminds me of the maggie meat the style of the wagon wheel from Borderlands 3. Anyways, this thing seems pretty strong. So we also got a look at those interesting ones. For example, this Vladov who got sticky in the second fire rate mod and tracking bullets on the first one. Only if you stick one at an enemy first. Or this crazy firing cryo assault rifle that looks very impressive to me and seems to be ultra satisfying to use. We also got this one that we barely saw throughout the whole video and the gimmick seems to follow the cursor of your screen like the free man in Borderlands 3. So this is pretty interesting. So next for this one, it seems like to be no one else than the Returning Storm with those two different fire rate mods. I don't know for sure, but I'm curious to know what you think, if you think differently than me. But from what we've seen so far, uh, this is a shock sniper that has two fire rate mods. The second one shots like the storm. So I truly believe that's the storm, but I don't know for sure, so hit me up in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer you as fast as I can. So let's go back. And finally, for the weapons, we got this nasty assault rifle that reminds me a ton of the plasma coil from Bardom Street, except that this one you shoot dark magic instead of shock or radiation. So for the enemies we got to see a bunch of them and I think they were for the most part common ones and I'm gonna be focusing on the bigger ones, the more interesting ones. And for that we got 3 cases plus 1 bonus. So the first one is gonna be this skeleton mage who's using a staff to cast spells. So the next one that we got to see many times is this massive one that fits perfectly the criteria of Goliath size wise. So like I said bonus mention here with this crazy looking mummy skeleton that's charging us. And and lastly, we got this crazy looking little dragon that seems to spin into a fireball or maybe into the elemental ball that he is. But in this video, we saw four of them and only one did that move. They all died pretty easily, so yeah. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up the video, guys. And I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, I could really appreciate if you can drop a like, a comment, and a sub. That would help me a ton and I would really appreciate that, guys. So thank you for that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy farming.